Hey there, Mr. Witherow here. All right, we are now gonna step into the world of multiplying po polynomials. This time we're gonna get into the binomial by a binomial. So that just means two terms, right? Binomial is two terms. So we look at something like this. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the most common thing that we're gonna do in here, right? Uh, biggest fundamental thing in algebra is knowing how to multiply binomials. And then the next step will be is to take the the answer to this and turn it into binomials, but we'll get into that later. All right, so x plus two times x plus four. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. Box method is the first one, all right? Uh, so box, it's two by two, so I want you to draw a two by two, all right? So you just draw it like this. There's your two by two. It doesn't matter. You just put x2 here and x4 here. So since they're positives, then you can just leave them positives, all right? So remember that when we multiply, right? So when we multiply, we multiply the big numbers, right? So multiply uh, coefficients, which means it's the big number attached, and we add the exponents. That's what we have to remember to do, all right? So multiply the coefficients, and add the exponent. So x times x is x squared. That is something you're just gonna have to get used to. You're gonna get a ton of work on that. X times x is x squared. Should roll right off your tongue. And then you say x times two, which is two x. And then you say four times x, which is four x. And then you say four times two, which is eight. So then there's your box. So then what you have to do is you have to gather like terms, right? So that's the step one. Step two is gather like terms. Well, I'm gonna tell you, the like terms are the diagonal. All right, here's your like terms. So this is your first time and then you have to write it in standard form, right? Standard form, which just means that it's downhill. Highest exponent first and then go down from there. So this is your highest exponent, shocking, right up the top. So x squared plus four plus two is six x's and then plus your eight and there's your answer. Notice you're gonna get a trinomial. Most of the time you're gonna get a trinomial, sometimes it, it, the middle term does cancel out. But the box method, it doesn't matter. So again, if I really did it another way, right? If I wanted to, I could draw it. And this time I could put the x and eight over here. Oh, not eight, sorry. X and four over here. And x and two here. And it doesn't matter. X times x is x squared. X times four is four x. Two times x is two x and two times four is eight. Notice that it's the same thing. There's your uh, like terms. So your first term is x squared, two plus four is the six, and then you just write down to eight. So notice that it doesn't matter which one's which. So it doesn't matter if you put the x and two up here or down here, all right? So box method, that's the first thing that you can do. All right, continuing with uh, method number two is this, we have this acronym FOIL right? And FOIL stands for first terms. And then O stands for outside terms. I know I'm probably writing that small. I stands for inside terms. And then the L stands for last terms. So if you think of that, FOIL, first, outer, inner, last, then you just draw it here. You take the X, this is the first terms, right? So there's your F. So X times X is X squared. Outer is the two outer ones way out here. So you take these two, there's your O, so that's plus four X. And then the inner, the two on the inside, two times X is two X. And then the last, which is two times four, which is the eight. And then you combine the middle terms right here. So this is x squared plus the six x plus the eight. So that's what FOIL does. Notice that we get the same answer. Same problem should get, come up with the same answer. So FOIL is the one that most people talk about. And this is the one I probably do more times than not is just the FOIL. So it's again, you have the, if you have two sets of parentheses here and FOIL only works when you're doing a by times a by, okay? FOIL only works when by times a by. 
So x times x is x squared, x times four is four x, two times x is two x, and two times four is eight. First terms, outer terms, inner terms, last terms. That's what we're looking for, FOIL. Now, sometimes we call it a double distribution. Think about that. If I can take this x plus two and I can split it up here. So now if I take this x and I distribute the x, just like I sort of kind of distributed the x here. Notice x times the first term, x times the second term. Well, that's down here. x times x is x squared. x times four is four x. And then the second distribution that I did was this two. I distributed the two to the x and then to the four. Well, that's what I'm doing here. This is plus two x and this is plus eight because two times x is two x, two times four is eight. So again, here's my middle terms that I can combine or gather. And so I'm gonna get this. So notice that we have, I mean, this double distribution is just the same thing as FOIL, which is the same thing as the box. So we'll hear it all kinds of the way. But FOIL is your biggest one. First, outside, inside, last. We'll do this over and over and again. You may want to stop and take a look at that and look at it and grab the homework and look at it and keep this fresh. All right? Now, the last thing they're going to do is have you do a binomial times a trinomial. So this one is definitely double distribution. You're going to have to take the M and multiply it by everybody over here. Now, I do this a little different. I do it stacked. Some people will draw them all the way across. I'm going to do it both ways so you can sort of kind of see it. All right, so the M, M times M squared is M to the third, because 1 plus 2 is 3. M times 4M is 4M squared, because again, 1 plus 1 is 2. And M times 7 is 7M. So that's the first one. Then the second distribution is when you take the 3 and you distribute the 3. So like I said, some people will continue here. So this is 3 times m squared is plus 3m squared. 3 times 4m is plus 12m. And 3 times 7 is 21. And then they start gathering the like terms. So most of the time, this is going to be your first term. If you do it correctly, this is going to be your last term. Your constant will be your last time last term, but we got to combine these that are in the inside. You have an m squared here and you have an m squared here. So 4 plus 3 is 7 m squared. Remember that when you're adding or subtracting, you do not do anything with the exponents. Then you have 7 m plus 12 m is plus 19 m. And then you bring down your 21. So then this is your answer. So most of the time, if you do this correctly, your first term is your uh, leading term, right? And then your last term is your constant, which is over here. Then you just gather the, the two in the middle, all right? Now, like I said, I do it a little differently. Uh, I stack this, so I make, it's the same thing, right? So if I take these, if I basically take these first three, right? M times M squared is M to the third. And then M times 4M is that uh, 4M squared, and then m plus seven, or times seven is seven m, right? And then what I do is then I take, when I do the three, three m squared, I put it underneath this. So this is three m squared. Notice that I stack and I put them in columns of m to the third, m squared, m. So three times four m is your 12 m, and three times seven is your 21. So notice that what I, again, I know, but I have them in columns. So here's my m to the third column. Here's my m squared column. Here's my m column. And here's my constant column. So then here's my answer. Same answer, same way you can do it. So you can do it vertically, excuse me, uh, horizontally, or you can stack them, whichever way you want to do it. All right, so one more. Let's try it again. Uh, again, I don't care which way. I'm going to just do it my stack way. You can do it your other way. So if I have 4x, I double distribute. So I'm going to take the 4x and multiply it by everybody over here. So 4x times x squared is 4x to the third. 4x times a negative 
x is a minus 28x squared, and a 4x times 1 is a 4x. So then I take the negative 1, and make sure that you take the whole, this negative 1, and distribute it, okay? So negative 1 times x squared is a negative x squared. Negative 1 times a negative 7 is a positive 7x. And a negative 1 times a positive 1 is a negative 1. And again, if it's mine's a vertical here, so I can just bring this down. Negative 28, I owe you 28. I borrow one more. I owe you 29 x squared now. 4 plus 7 is 11x. And then minus 1. So then there's my answer. All right? So double distribution here. So again, you've got a couple ways. If it is just a binomial times a binomial, you can certainly use FOIL, right? If you don't like FOIL, then use the box. And just remember that it's always just double distribution. All right, keep having fun with math.